Well, Shabbat Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. It is an honor and a privilege to be able to speak to you about uh, Passover. Uh, I am thoroughly excited that Passover is here. Uh, if you can't tell, I've got my Afikoman bag. Uh, I've got my Seder plate. Uh, I've got my matzah. And Laheim. As I was preparing to speak about uh, the Passover, I was studying and I had some things in mind that I wanted to talk about, but the Holy Spirit kept telling me, don't be redundant. And I didn't really know what that meant. So I reached out to Pastor Mike to see exactly what format he was going to go with. And I absolutely loved his response when I said I didn't want to be redundant. I said, first of all, pray and seek the Holy Spirit, which that's our go-to. And he said, I would rather hear something that is a personal revelation that the Father has shown you rather than it be a teaching or a commentary. So here we go. Um, I grew up in a Baptist church uh, from the time I was in the nursery until about middle school, high, uh, junior high, as we used to call it. We were there every Sunday every Wednesday, and, you know, I feel cheated, honestly, because we never learned about Passover. We never learned about Shabbat. And after being on the journey that we've been on, studying the Messianic, uh, the Jewish Hebrew roots, and seeing the beauty of God's word, of God's Torah, it has really just, it, it's made all the difference in the world. I love Yahweh's appointed times, but I especially love Passover because in a lot of ways, I see parallels of the Exodus and the time that the Israelites spent in the desert in my own life. Like I said, I grew up in church, and much like the Israelites, when they first went down into Egypt, they were treated like royalty. And that's the way I felt up until about, like I said, about the time I was in the eighth grade. And something happened. Uh, there was a scandal in the church. And I determined in my own mind with a little help from the enemy that it was all bogus. There was absolutely no truth in what I'd been told. And I turned my back on the Lord. So rather than being forced into slavery, I chose slavery. I chose the slavery of sin. I chose the slavery of of self-indulgence. And for many years, I spent pleasing myself, had no consideration for what God wanted. And I know for a fact that my mom and dad, you know, bless their hearts, they were praying constantly. And I believe that has a lot to do with my finally coming back to them. So after being in slavery all those years, I found my way back and I got involved in church, uh, back in the church that I grew up in, actually. And I was involved in everything that was going on. I couldn't get enough. I could not serve enough because I wanted to please my Heavenly Father. and. Honestly, as I look back, 
I was a lot like the Israelites in the desert because there were times that I wanted to go back to Egypt. And I'm not proud of that, but I do believe that it had a lot to do with not having the firm basis that I have now in the Torah. Yes, I grumbled, I complained, and <laughs> there were a lot of times that I was really tempted to go back to Egypt. And honestly, there were a few times that I did go back to Egypt. But God was always faithful. And he'd let me get right out to the edge and he'd pull me back. So, you know, praise God for that. And he brought a wonderful, beautiful woman into my life that became my wife. And it's a lot of her strength is what brought me into the journey that we're on now with Torah. Alexa, I dearly love God's word. I can't get enough. And this Passover season, remember the terrible price that was paid for each and every one of us, the precious blood that was shed, that went on the doorposts of our heart, that allows us the freedom. That's what to me, that's what Passover is about. It's about freedom. Freedom from sin. That doesn't mean that we don't sin anymore. But we do have the freedom that we can go to the Father, repent, and move forward with a clear conscience. We don't have to hold on to that bitterness. We don't have to hold on to the things that would keep us in bondage. We're free because of the blood of the Passover lamb, the lamb that takes away the sin of the world. So as we enter into this Passover season, I would just encourage everyone to take some time, reflect on your own life, see the times that Maybe you were tempted to go back to Egypt. Do some introspect. And if there's anything that's keeping you from the freedom that we have in the Father, repent of it. And let's move forward in this new biblical year, free to serve our Lord and Savior Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom.